Welcome to the point once again. Today we'll talk about uh, string names, which is different from string. So to give an example, here's a regular string. You can also instantiate a string with string, stuff like this, which is basically the same, right? Uh, if I run, you can see both strings being printed out. So string names, you can instantiate like this in the past. Or now in Godot 4, you can also instantiate them like this. The purpose to use a string name is to consider, like to use a variable as its reference. Its main purpose or usage is for performance reasons. So when you compare two string names, it's much more performance wise better than comparing two strings. Uh, but as you can see here, everything is printed out as the same. If you just use both, you can just mix and match. Uh, you can also see if I try to compare both, for example, like this, they will be considered the same as well. So you can use them kind of uh, either way as you wish to, during your code. If you are able to use string name, I just rec recommend you prefer it this way just because of performance reasons. But for this video, what I want to focus is on dictionaries. So in dictionary, maybe you already know, you can create a new variable like this. So if you print out test, test, you'll see the dictionary with a equals one. In a similar way, you can do this with a string name. So why, why would you use a string name here instead of just a, a regular String. Once again, string names are better because of performance reasons. So if you have a very large dictionary, uh, the string names will give you better performance when fetching information from within. Uh, but it's important to notice the difference because, for example, if I have tests like this and test like this, you'll see both are actually within the same dictionary, they are considered different variables within it. So if I print out this and print out test like this, you see I get the different variables. But once again, one other advantage of using string names is that you can use this new pattern also in dictionaries, uh, facilitating when you like you don't need to use this large and error prone string version of it. So here it is. I hope this was helpful. And also I hope everyone can now know what's the difference and how to use string names within a dictionary. See you next time.